Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I'll tell you what, do I have a, a weird and tough video to do right now. I traveled a great distance to come to FCI Edgefield, uh, one of the worst prisons that I was ever at. It was in uh, South Carolina. It is in South Carolina. It took us a... We came from Jessup, so it took us a long time to get here, about three and a half hours, four hours, in the RV. And I'll tell you what, I was nervous the whole time getting here. But I'll tell you what, looking at this place and now looking at what it's about, this is the place where I was strapped down naked, beaten and tortured. This is the place where they kept a guy with no legs. And actually, Lieutenant Finity backed up to my door with a video camera and said, if anybody in saw this video, meaning like somebody on the outside saw this video, somebody in this prison would be in jail. He said that, meaning that's the staff would have been in jail. So this is this is a prison of all prisons, man. This is just a terrible place. Uh, I can't stand it. it. It's giving me the chills even doing this video right here. Uh, you know, and uh, it, it, it's not good. And you're looking at one of the worst. And I'm looking at units now that I remember so well and it's giving me the chills and i'm going to take some videos of this as well so i i can't stand this place it's giving me the chills nobody's come up to me i don't know if we're on federal property i doubt it very much because i'm right off of a ma uh, a road a roadway so there's nothing that's saying i can't do this video you can't cross that line and trust me in this place they will put you in jail that is the way it is now i'm going to do this I could see the whole prison and I'm gonna show you guys the prison. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys a prison and show you what what has happened and why this place is so scummy and why people shouldn't be here. Okay, so now you'll get an idea of what this prison is like. Okay, this was my home right here. I was in this prison and I was strapped down naked, beat, tortured. Uh, people in the hole were treated the worst of the worst. Uh, this place is just a scum hole of scum holes. Uh, you know, they say, oh, look at it, it looks new. It's a great place and you know, hey, wow, look at this prison, it, you know, brand new and all that. And that makes it worse. You know, we're gonna be going to Atlanta. That's another one I get, you know, feeling bad about. But so I, I just, it, it just gets me pissed off, you know at this place so here I am taking video and who knows who's gonna come here and say anything but I don't give a shit because I'm allowed to do this I'm in public property this is all public land everything around here is public it's all good and stuff of that nature so I don't know what's going to happen I want to show you guys some of the prison itself okay looking at the prison right there that's where you go into the prison which I will try to go in See, those are the units you're seeing in the back. You can see them in the back. Over here, that, that's what they call Unicor. And then the kitchen. And I was in that middle building right there. You, you could see it. You could see it from here. Uh, you'll see the numbers on the buildings. Each one of those. You see those long uh, uh, like things? There's stairs going up to each level. There's three levels on every prison. So I went into that prison and... Look at the wiring, look at the fencing, look at everything. Now, when you go over there, what I'm showing you here is the, you have fences and you have people and you have uh, people coming and going, obviously. You know, the gun towers are probably looking at me right now, uh, but nobody has come up to me yet. I'm in the wooded area, as you could see. I'm in the wooded area and there's the RV on the other side of the wooded area. So you're, you're seeing a whole different animal of the prison. And I'm getting the biggest feelings of, of, of weirdness right now in front of me. Because I, I don't know how I would feel if they even came near me. Because I know this place so well. You go in there, right there. The building's straight ahead, just right of that Tower 8. There's a building, and that's the shoe. That's the hole. That's where I was strapped down naked, beaten, tortured. That's where uh, the lieutenant there... and. I was also in the hole there when a guy named Butch Lewis, actually who was the head of OSHA for this prison, came to my cell door and said, hey Lawton, keep writing senators 
because at that point I'm really exposing the prison to what's going on. So, you know, I, I want to keep doing that as well. And, you know, like I said, talk about a weird feeling in a prison. Uh, we got to remember, guys, I've never been in the outside of these prisons. I was only in the inside of these prisons. And I was in a place where they hated me, where they thought Lawton was a scumbag, where they didn't think people could change. They didn't think people could have good... Uh, you know, get better if you want to call it or get redemption or anything of that nature. They didn't want to do that. That's not what they do. This is, uh, you know, the place that they hate you. This is the place that nobody likes you. This is the place and it's a, it's a prison, man. It's, it's a federal prison that fucking beats people. They do bad things to people. They do everything. And, you know, as people keep coming in, I guarantee they're going to end up saying, you know, hey, there's a guy up there. I'm looking at the trucks go around right now. And there's trucks looking at me. Now they have also trucks that surround this prison. So those trucks are going. So one truck just stopped and they're looking at me and I don't know what they're gonna do. They're keeping driving around, but I'm up on the berm, which is not their property. I'm pretty sure it's not their property. So once you're not on their property, you're gonna be okay. But this boy is bringing back memories, memories that are hard guys. This is like, I got a, a, a fucking chill running through me right now. You know, the weather's nice and I got the goosebumps. And I got the goosebumps because this prison was is, is the biggest scumbag place on the earth. This and Atlanta were the two scumbag. Atlanta was the worst of the worst. This place is not much fucking better. And I'm looking at all the people who are in that prison right now. And obviously it's right now 158. And I'm wondering if they're gonna have a two o'clock move or is it a 2.30 move? What that means is in, in prisons like this, these maximum security prisons, what they do is you can't move around the prison anytime you want. They'll call two o'clock, say two o'clock move. You'll see all the doors open up and people go into wherever they're gonna go. They're gonna go to the rec yard, which is on the opposite side. It's behind that shoe, that area, that building they call the shoe, special housing unit. That's where that is. Now, the, the buildings up in the front are all education. I remember this so well. I just seeing people on the compound, but that's before the doors were open. So I'm not I'm the wondering if it's gonna be a two o'clock or a 2.30 move. And whatever it is, I'm gonna try to turn around and show you guys what I mean. Uh, but this is the prison that, you know, I started right. And I actually compared this prison to Abu Ghraib. It was a prison in Iraq that American soldiers were torturing people and they literally it was all over the news back in that days i compared this prison right here in america right here in the fucking united states of america and now here i am outside the prison as a youtuber uh doing a video of this and i think it's just amazing to show you guys what is really going on and we're going to drive through the prison too i'm going to come down i'm going to go down with the rv and take pictures of the front of the prison I'm, I, that's just what I'm gonna do, you know? I'm waiting for them to come. Here's a FedEx truck. So people do come up on the prison all the time. That's like kind of normal. I'm not sure who. They also have what they call a camp around here. The camp is over there. You see that? That's the camp. And that's where, like I was telling you in Jessup, see in a camp, those are the people that maintain the prison in these high security prisons. Those are the guys that will uh, mow the lawns, make bag lunches, do all the stuff that they have to do to, uh, you know, make make prisons what they are. You know, they're scumbag places. That's all they are, scumbag places. And don't get me wrong, I never said we don't need prisons. I just need think we need to have better prisons. I think we need to have people with compassion. And I think we need to have people who, who care about other people. That's what I think we need. Uh, if I'll tell you what, I, I'm even thinking if I get stopped or something at this point, I might go live because I don't know what's going to happen to me. And that kind of giving me the uh, chills because I don't know how long, how many I could take out or fight that if, if I got pulled over and tried to arrest me, I think I would fight them. I think, I think I would have to be fucking taken down by fucking five guys. And I'll tell you what, those five guys better be badass motherfuckers because I could see me fighting fucking five guys and fucking taking them out. Fucking taking them out. Look, I'm getting fucking all nervous. You go into these prisons and you feel the the anxiety. You feel the, the pressure. You feel the, the stuff like that. It, it's just what it is. It's a prison that sucks. And it's, 
this one has got me so much worse than Jessup because I know what happened to me here. And what happened to me here shouldn't happen to any other human being where a guard takes his dick out and pisses on your fucking face. And a guard takes spits on you and says, keep writing senators, Lawton. So that to me is bullshit. And, and I don't know what's going on. People are there. Uh, I don't know. There's a truck coming now. I don't know what's going to happen. So, but anyway, that's, that's what, you know, we're filming. And here comes somebody now. Oh, How shit. You How you doing? The what? Yeah, I'm working. I'm a YouTube guy and I'm doing a video. I'm not on this. I'm not on BOP property. They told me you could stay on this side and you're not on BOP property. Oh, look on the internet. The internet. Okay. All right. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? All right, you heard it. Obviously, he wasn't a bad guy. He didn't try to, you know, say anything. Look, there's two of them now. Now there's two of them, and they're gonna they're gonna watch me. Obviously, they're not gonna let their eyes off of Larry Lawton. Uh, and I get that to a degree, but I'm not doing anything illegal. They low, no, I don't have a gun or a good, something of that nature. So I'm just waiting for them to uh, see what they're gonna do. So, wow, this is kind of nerve wracking. I don't know what they're doing. So we're gonna look over here and see the whole prison again. All right, everybody, I'm coming. I'm going down to the prison. All right, here I am. I'm in the RV heading down to the prison itself. And I'll tell you what, guys, this is nerve wracking because at this point, I don't know what they're gonna do, but that guard, they're watching me and they know my name now. So, uh, which is, chance? I don't care about that because this is not, you know, my brother says, why are we, uh, you know, uh, taking a chance, but we're not taking a chance. I'm gonna go see if they wanna talk to me. And we'll see, I'm gonna, they will come out to me. I'm gonna ask them what they say. What does it say here, Dave? Visitor parking. Okay, that's all, that's closed. So go, but they do have visiting starting today. That's what the guy said. They're starting again today. Here is the prison, everybody. We are going to the prison. Don't walk out. I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go to the guy. Stop right there. Hey, how you doing? Can I interview somebody here from the prison? They're not here today. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. Oh shoot! It is. It's Columbus Day. Aye. All right, thank you. This, this, way, everybody, is the prison. We went up right to the door of the prison. And, you know, my heart's beating. I don't know what I would have did if they came out here and wanted to confiscate my phone or something like that. I don't think I would have let that happen. So here they are. This is the prison itself. That is the building. See, that second building there was my building right there. And the towers are right there, and the towers all over this place. So that's, see, yeah, every one of those units. Oh, what's going on in this place? Oh man, this place still gives me the fucking EBGBs. And this place is just a scum hole. Here's the camp I was talking about. You can, I'm gonna go around it. This is the prison here, where it's, this is the camp. This is where they take care of the pr main prison when there's lockdowns. It's right through the streets. We might be able to see it a little better when we roll up. And they got housing units, and they can leave. And that's just like that other prison in uh, Jessup. These people are totally different. These housing units, these people can leave, do whatever the hell they want. They're campers, as we used to call them, you know? No fences. No fences, zero. Not a fence in the place. They can come out here and do drugs, do whatever they want, get a, uh, a cell phone hidden in the weeds right here. Uh, that's the difference here. This is the camp, you see that? And there's your units, D3, you can see them all. Uh, uh, do they have a fence around this prison? I don't see it. That is a camp. Oh yeah, they do have a fence. Maybe they made it a low, who knows? Uh, I don't know, that's a, another unit. And it was a camp, and I'm sure it still is, but they can go outside these gates. So this is what you see. 
And here is us leaving this prison, this fucking scum hole.